Guys, welcome to another video. Uh, so in this video, I will be replacing the worn out pads on my Beats Studio 2 headphones, and I will also be replacing the battery on them. And uh, I actually was considering replacing these completely, um, but I do love these headphones and uh, they have really good sound and I just, I don't know, I enjoy them. I tried other ones and I just, I don't know, I like these too much to get rid of. So uh, as you can see here, the pads are starting to wear quite a bit. And a lot of times when I wear them now, the pieces of the fake pleather uh, just get stuck on my face and I don't know it and I look like an idiot. So I think it's about time I go ahead and replace it. And this one is much worse, as you can see. The cup on this one is way worse than the other one. Um, but battery life has also kind of been poor. And uh, so just for reference, I have had these for three years almost. Um, I did get them in... Um, October or November of 2017. So uh, in that time, I use them pretty much every day and uh, they are my favorite headphones. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, replace the ear pads first. And uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. Do the cushions and uh, let's go ahead and go in here. So I got these off Amazon. I'll leave a link to the ones I purchased. Um, hopefully they're good, but um, here is what comes with them here. So we have our user guide. We have alcohol wipes and a pick to use to get them off. So we have two sets of alcohol wipes and two sets of adhesive here. So um, in here it says, so user guide, remove the right side old cushion. For that, you can use our triangle opener. Gently shuffle the tool underneath the cushion and slowly separate. And then it says remove the leftover adhesive, grab the new right side cushion with the USB port cutout and uh, apply. So it just says basically place it before you do it and then use the uh, included adhesive to place them down. Uh, move to the left side cushion without the USB port. Notice the holes fit the dowels before installing the ear pad. Also need to apply pressure to the cushion for a good minute. The last important step, apply constant pressure to the ear pads by placing a couple of books between the headphones and putting them away that applies the most pressure without bending the headphone headband too far. All right, so we can do that. Now, what's interesting is it includes head uh, adhesive here, but we already have adhesive on the pads. So um, it will be so nice to have brand new pads on this. So uh, a video I watched on YouTube said to use a butter knife to remove the pads and uh, I don't know how well that's gonna work, but we'll go ahead and do the USB side first. But I'll try their tool first to see how well this will work. And hopefully this isn't too hard to do. I can already hear it separating, which is good. Okay, that seems to not be too bad to remove. All right, and then we can hopefully get some of this adhesive off while we're doing this. Nice, not bad. Okay, so we got the ear pad and the adhesive at the same time. And this one definitely feels a lot better. It's like much thicker. <laughs> Hopefully that's not a big deal, but look at the thickness of that. Much, much thicker. So there's one down. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll clean it off with the alcohol wipe here. If I can figure out where to put them. Start off with the wet side first. And sometimes I never, you know, you never know when you get these little wipes, if they're actually gonna still be actually wet. This one isn't that great, but it seems okay. Yeah, it's not that wet. So I think what I'm gonna end up doing is just getting some rubbing alcohol and doing it myself, since that's just like very not wet at all. So I'm gonna take some rubbing alcohol on a little cotton pad here and just going around it myself with that just to make sure make sure we get 
rips all the adhesive off here. Okay, and we'll go ahead and wipe it off with a clean one. All right, and then so you can see here, there's a couple of little uh, plastic rubber dowels that this goes onto. So you'll see you have your screws here, but you'll see you have one dowel here and one dowel here, and that'll help you to align it. And uh, the USB port obviously will help also. So we'll go ahead and do this one first. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and align it and make sure that it looks good before I even do anything here. So that shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, all right. So pretty sure that'll fit just fine. All right, so we'll go ahead and uh, get this piece of adhesive ready. All right, not too bad. And we'll just line it up here again. Make sure we get the dowel in there. You know, it's funny, I just had it aligned and then of course, as soon as I take the little sticker off, it's like, no. <laughs> yeah, that's not as easy as I thought it was gonna be. Cool. Okay, we're gonna squishy. Squish, 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 squish. Okay. All right, looks like we're good on this side. All right, we're good on that side. So we'll go ahead and, uh, well, here's a comparison if you wanna see. Definitely some thicker, much thicker cushions. So hopefully it's not gonna make a huge difference. Yeah, it feels like this has less, I mean, it, it looks bigger, but it has less foam than the original, but you know what, that's fine. It's still gonna, it looks a lot better already. So I'll take it. All right, let's do our next cushion. Oh, well, I just broke the damn thing. That's nice. Yeah, so I just broke the... Yeah, I see why they use a butter knife. Yeah, that's much easier. And there's our other one down. So here's our two that just came off. So the original. And uh, yeah, the foam still feels fine. It's just, it just, all that fake pleather just comes off after a while, I guess. All right, let's go ahead and clean this. Let me check this other one and see if it's any good. If it has any moisture left in its little package. Maybe a little bit more. All right, so go ahead and wipe this down. Okay, so we got this side good here. So now we have to find our dowels again. And one good thing about this is that it also applies to the Beat Studio 3. Go ahead and put some pressure on it so we can get it to stick. And then we're gonna put it on a uh, a little set of books to get it to stay. Okay, so there we have it. So we have now new ear pads, and I can tell you right now, it looks like way better than it did before. All right, and now we're gonna go ahead and do the battery part of this here. Uh, so what we're gonna do is go toward the side with the uh, USB, the right side here. So what we have to do is remove this little plate. So we're gonna use a small flathead to kind of pry it up a little bit and it's just glued on there. So hopefully that's not gonna be terribly hard to get out. All right, that's just got a little adhesive on it. And then uh, we have a couple screws that we need to remove. Okay, so we got our four screws that we're holding that in there. What we now have to do is get this little piece off here, the part that actually says R, and then we can um, 
move the hinge down a little bit to get it to allow us to access the battery. So. Okay, well, uh, there's no notch there, which really is unfortunate. So rather than me continue to make dents in my stuff. Okay, cool. Yeah, so don't use, don't use your metal things because then you will dent your nice headphones, which I just did. So uh, anyway, so this should now <clears throat> separate and you should be able to pull this down a bit so that we may hopefully, there we go, slowly but surely access our battery. And there it is. That tiny little thing is what powers your wireless headphones. So here's our new one here. Oh, 560 milliamp hours. So it's super teeny tiny. All right, so here's our new one. Please God be the, the correct version. Yes, and it comes with a little 3M thing, so is it the correct one? Looks like it. All right, so we are going to pry this one off. This one is using adhesive to stay on. So let's go ahead and pry the old battery out. Not that bad. And then what we have to do is find the connection. So we have our little connection right here. And it is a teeny, teeny, tiny little connection. Let's see if I can just pop that sucker out. All right, so it looks like it's kind of around something here. So let's try. Oh, that was easy. All right, so that just pops right out there. Old battery out. Let's plug our new battery in. And then I will actually uh, stick it down. So I might need to use tweezers because I'm not good at this. Yeah, we're gonna use tweezers to do this because it's too tiny. Okay. Uh, one thing I do want to check just because I want to see if it'll actually uh, give me like a light that it's going to charge because I don't want to tape it and have to put this all back together or pull it apart. All right, so I heard something. So that means hopefully I recognized it there. Yes. Okay. So we get the little charging light bulbs. That pleases me, so that's good. So in this case, we will go ahead and uh, pull our tape off, put it down, and close it back up. Okay, I can't remember how they had it. I think they had it like this. All right, as long as it's in the square, I don't think they care. Okay. Alrighty, so we've got that there. Now let's go ahead and, ah, there we go. Okay, yeah, so sorry, I had to get off camera because it was just kind of annoying me. Um, trying to get this part back together is actually a little bit of a pain. So, um, you just kind of kind of mess with it to get it to actually like work and go back in. Uh, so what I ended up trying to do is I got these clipped in properly, but um, I decided to go ahead and put the screws in first before I put this metal plate back on because it was a pain. So I did that first. So um, hopefully you don't have to have uh, as big of a deal or a big of an issue with it and everything looks good, everything looks as it should. Let's go ahead and put this little clip back on here. Yeah, that was a pain to do, but we have them working as they should. See, does it turn on? 
turns on. And what's funny is the LED actually looks a little bit brighter than it should or than it did before. So that's pretty cool. And last but not least, we're gonna put our little cover back on. Yeah, there's little dowels, excuse me. So just follow where the dowels are. There we go. And that adhesive should still be good. Okay. So we have a now a new battery, new ear pads, and I would say some pretty fancy, nice new headphones. So if you're considering just replacing your headphones because your ear pads are worn out or the battery's worn out, these are replaceable parts, which is awesome. So uh, just to give you some backstory on this. So again, I got these almost three years ago, 2017, and I paid $180 for them brand new on sale. And I just paid $25 and some change for new ear pads and the battery from Amazon. So rather than me going out and spending, uh, you know, another $180, $200 on headphones, I decided to re revive these. And I think that was a good idea. So <laughs> I'm pretty pleased with the result. Um, I am gonna go ahead and put them around some books and I'll show you that before we go. All right, so I don't have any books to really use to do this, but basically they tell you to keep it um, between something without breaking the headband so that the ear pads themselves will become adhered properly. So I'll leave this for a couple hours and uh, there we go. So brand new battery, brand new ear pads, and uh, I should be good to go with some nice restored headphones. Okay, so guys, if you like this video, slap that like button down below. If you wanna see some more, press the subscribe button also down below, and then hit that bell. I'll see you guys in the next video.